everyone, and welcome to the on-demand session on empowering frontline workers with Microsoft Intune. My name is Jessica Young, and I'm a senior product manager on the Intune team. In this session, we're going to look at how Intune can simplify management for your shared, ruggedized, and specialized devices. We'll also talk about how to empower frontline workers to do their best work by maximizing productivity and creating better employee experiences. Now, we've got some other great content at Ignite about managing frontline worker devices on other operating systems. So this session is going to be focused on our recent investments in helping you manage devices powered by Android. Here on the Intune team, we collaborate with providers across the Android ecosystem to bring you the best possible endpoint management experiences. Google is, of course, one of our key partners for our Android enterprise offerings today. We're heavily invested in ecosystem partnerships with OEMs. So we design and build together, we meet regularly, we talk to customers together about how to build better management solutions to meet your needs. Samsung, Zebra, and Realware are a few that we'll touch on later in this session. Finally, as we design for the long term, we've invested in solutions built on the Android Management API which is the platform management stack offered by Google for devices that can connect to Google Mobile Services, as well as investments in managing devices built on the Android Open Source Project, AOSP, which covers the full ecosystem of devices. Before I dive into our features and demos, let's take a step back and I'll give you an overview of the Android device management landscape. Microsoft Intune offers solutions for the full set of management scenarios possible on an Android-based device both devices that connect to Google Mobile Services, that support Android Enterprise, as well as devices that don't. You can use app protection policies, which allow you to manage data and apps without needing to enroll a device. We support all Android Enterprise management modes, personal and corporate own work profiles, fully managed devices, and dedicated devices. These offer you different levers to pull for the degree of control versus end user privacy versus user affiliation that you might want to have on the device. Finally, we've been investing in bringing this to AOSP devices, and I'll dive into that more near the end of the session. Now, on a device that's used by a frontline worker, you'll probably be managing the device with one of the modes towards the right of the slide. Most commonly, Android Enterprise dedicated, or one of our AOSP management solutions. Now, we know there are some cases where frontline workers may need a user affinity solution, and we'll talk about some cool stuff that gives you the best of both worlds there. But I am going to focus mostly on shared devices used for specific jobs across shifts. Over the next 20-something minutes, we'll take a look at some of the recent improvements we've added for IT admins who manage dedicated devices and their frontline users. We'll be seeing these features through the eyes of Stacy, who is an admin at Alpine Ski House, a chain of ski resorts in the US. Alpine Ski House has a fleet of Zebra TC52 devices that are shared between multiple workers during the course of the day. They also have a handful of Realware HMT1 devices, which are used by their ski lift technicians. First, let's take a look at how Alpine Ski House has set up their shared Android devices. Stacy is using a multi-app kiosk policy to have the Microsoft Manage Home Screen deployed on the device. With Manage Home Screen, she can ensure that only relevant apps show up on the devices. So Teams and Outlook for communication, and Power Apps for custom workflows that they've built for frontline worker productivity. Stacy has also created an enrollment token, which will provision these devices as dedicated with support for Azure Active Directory shared device mode. If you're not familiar with it, shared device mode is a feature of Azure AD, which enables apps to support shared multi-user usage at the app level, even when the OS doesn't natively support it. Integrating with shared device mode gives you AD guaranteed single sign-in and sign-out across all supported apps on the device. Apps can also receive a signal to clean up user-specific data upon sign-out. Finally, as an admin, you can enforce user-based conditional access policies based on device compliance states when MDM enrolls a device with shared device mode. Shared device mode integration is publicly available via the Microsoft Authentication Library, or MSOL, for any app that wishes to enable it. Shared device mode works great with Microsoft Intune. You can create a token to automatically configure shared mode during device enrollment. 
And on Android, the Manage Home screen gives you even more control over lockdown sign-in experiences. We'll take a look at those in a second. Additionally, we've been working on bringing support for shared device mode to even more apps. Now in private preview, we're excited to share that workers can access Outlook Mobile, Edge, and Power Apps via native shared mode support. We are also developing a solution that will give workers single sign-out from apps that have integrated with the Intune Mobile Application Management SDK, as long as it's running on an Intune enrolled device provisioned with shared device mode. This allows your users to unlock the full value of Microsoft 365 on shared Android devices. Next, we all know how important it is to keep our frontline devices up to date with security patches so that a preventable attack doesn't take down the entire business. With Intune integration of Zebra's Lifeguard over the air service, Stacy now has a super simple way to perform OS updates on Alpine Ski House Zebra devices. Now in private preview for Android Enterprise Zebra devices running Android 8 and later. Let's jump into the admin console and see how this works. Stacy is going to go to Tenant Administration, Connectors and Tokens, Firmware over the air updates, and connect her Zebra and Intune tenants. She follows a few additional steps to enroll the Alpine Ski House devices with the Zebra update service. And with that, Stacy is now ready to create a firmware update deployment to those devices. So she's going to go to Devices, Android, Photo Deployments, and create a new deployment. Stacy can select the exact firmware version she wants to deploy. In this case, an update to TC52 devices to Android 11, Update 26 from Zebra. She can also set a schedule for the updates. So let's say a week from now. And she's going to set an installation schedule so that updates don't disrupt operations during business hours. So now updates will only install between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. Stacy can stagger the update downloads and installs for applicable OS versions and set minimum battery, charging status, and network condition requirements for when the update can happen before finally assigning the deployment to a group containing the Zebra devices. Now that that's created, let's also take a look at the test deployment that her coworker Brian created earlier. Intune shows her a summary of the deployment, as well as status for each device in the deployment. Next, let's take a look at how Microsoft Intune can help you minimize downtime so that your business critical workflows stay up and running. We offer functionality on Windows, iOS, and Android dedicated devices, which help IT locate devices when they get lost or stolen. You can both locate a device and see its position on a map, as well as play a sound on devices, which helps to locate them without line of sight. During peak ski season, things can get pretty chaotic at Alpine Ski House. Allison is a frontline worker at the rental shop, helping to get everything organized before they open for the season. All of a sudden, the fire alarm goes off, everyone drops what they're doing and evacuates. Thankfully, it's just a drill. So once the crisis is over, Allison heads back to continue her task. But she can't find her device among the piles of boxes and skis. Instead of wasting time trying to search for it, Allison reaches out to help desk and lets them know she can't find the device. Someone on Stacy's team then uses the locate my device feature to pull up the live device location on a map and confirm that it's still in the store. Help Desk then uses the Play Lost Device Sound feature to sound an audio signal for a chosen duration. Once the signal is enabled, the device starts ringing, and Allison can follow the sound to recover her device. A few days later, Stacy gets a call about a missing device that nobody can find. Once again, she initiates the Locate Device action on the admin console. Because the device battery has died and it's offline, this time she sees a last known location with the device's whereabouts at its last check-in time. She sees that the device was left in the wrong building, and now the resort can send someone to retrieve it. Last year, we announced Remote Help for Windows, which allows you to give your users the support that they need no matter where they are. We're excited that Remote Help is expanding to support Android devices, now in private preview for dedicated devices from Samsung and Zebra. 
A demo is worth a thousand words, so once again, let's go back to Stacy. Alpine Ski House has just acquired an existing resort in Colorado, and Stacy is in charge of getting the user experience set up on some newly enrolled devices. She's provisioning everything the same way that we talked about earlier, with the Manage Home screen on a multi-app kiosk, exposing apps that support Azure AD Shared Device Mode. Everything is set up in the admin console, and she wants to validate her changes. But there is just one problem. Stacy is in Massachusetts, and these devices are in Colorado. Instead of needing somebody on site at the Colorado resort to verify that the devices were set up correctly, Stacy can now use Intune's remote help feature to securely view and control one of the on-site devices to ensure that the correct user experiences have been set up on the device. In the admin portal, Stacy looks up the device that she wants to validate her changes on. Stacy then initiates an unattended control session. So there's nobody on the other end who needs to pick up the device. It just works. Once she's connected to the device, Stacy can validate that the branding and customization looks right. She'll sign in just one time with a test user account. And then she'll launch Teams to double check that the single sign-on is working. That looks good. We are all signed in. So she's going to go home and launch Power Apps. Once again, the sign-in is seamless. Perfect. Everything is looking really good. So Stacy is going to sign out of the test user account. And then she'll just turn off the device screen and end the remote help session. So far, we've shown you features on Android Enterprise devices, but we know that customers are increasingly adopting devices outside the Google ecosystem, built on the foundation of the Android Open Source Project, or AOSP. Many of these devices enable key scenarios in the enterprise, but don't have integration with Google mobile services. As a result of this, these devices cannot leverage the Android Enterprise Management options available in Intune today. To address this need, we've added support for management of corporate AOSP devices, and we are super excited to tell you that this is now generally available on real-world devices to start. We offer support for user-based and shared device deployments, configuration, compliance, certificates, and Wi-Fi profiles. Now, we know that we're on the first step of our journey in managing these AOSP devices, and we are continuing to invest in the platform to drive parity with our Android Enterprise scenarios. Let's go back to the console and take a look at how Alpine Ski House uses Intune to manage their Realware HMT1 head-mounted devices. Stacy is going to set up an enrollment for userless AOSP devices. During the enrollment, these devices are going to use the Alpine guest Wi-Fi access point with a pre-shared key. Next, she's going to set up a profile to deploy a trusted root certificate to the device. as well as deploy a couple of SCEP certificates to the device. Finally, she's going to create a Wi-Fi profile for the secure network that these devices will eventually be on after the enrollment. Finally, she's going to create a Wi-Fi profile for the secure network that these devices will eventually be on after the enrollment. With all the configuration profiles created, Stacy is going to generate a QR code token for userless device enrollment, which will be distributed to the ski lift facility. Let's switch over to the Realware head-mounted device. On the device, our chairlift technician, Steven, scans the QR code to kick off the enrollment. Steven goes through the out-of-the-box experience 
and this is just the Android system here. Once that's done, the Intune app is automatically installed, and all he has to do is say start to begin enrolling the device. During this time, the profiles that Stacy created earlier are going to be deployed to the device. So once again, that's a couple of certificates and the Wi-Fi profile for the permanent network that these devices are going to be on. Enrollment is now complete, and we can see now that the device is immediately connected to the correct Alpine Ski House secure network after the enrollment. We can also just open settings really quick to double check that. And we can go back and verify that the certificates Stacy deployed are present on Steven's device. So everything looks pretty good here. Now that his device is online, Steven is ready for his shift. He launches Teams, and conditional access lets him through because the device is in compliance. At the end of his shift, he's simply going to log out, put the headset back in the charging bay, and with that, it's ready for the next worker to pick up. And that's all I have for you today. That was a lot of demos. And as you can see, Microsoft Intune, Azure AD, Microsoft 365 Apps, and many other groups across the company are constantly working to add more product capabilities that you need for managing devices used by frontline workers. I hope this session has given you a taste of how Intune is simple to manage, secure by default, and how you can use it to enable frontline workers to be productive with minimal device downtime. I really appreciate you joining me today to learn about empowering your frontline workers with Microsoft Intune. Enjoy the rest of your Ignite. Thanks for watching and take care.